What's up, my baby daddies? Today I'm showing y'all how I wash my wigs. I'm going to show you how to wash this curly one, and I'm going to show you how to wash a long one. So first you have to brush the hair out. Make sure you brush it out. There's no tangles in it because if it's tangled before you start washing, it's going to be tangled during the washing process. So now this is a bucket of water. I washed the wig before this. So the last step, I kind of like wash it with conditioner. Like I rinse the rest of the conditioner out in the bucket. So I use that bucket of water and I give uh, my wig a co-wash with or I don't know what to call it, like a cold rinse before I put shampoo in it and then I shampoo the whole thing and then rinse it out again. Obviously if you didn't wash your hair before this and you didn't have a semi-conditioned bucket of water then you would just wash it or rinse it with regular water. Now here I'm showing you how I hold my wigs because you don't want to put any holes into the lace so you make sure your fingernails or your fingers are behind the lace on the cap so that way you don't rip a hole in it and you put your thumb where your part is supposed to be. Then you rinse out the shampoo and uh, dump out the water and look how brown it is. Yeah. Next I put a little shampoo into a bucket of water so that it can foam up and I just wiggle the wig into the water of bucket of water of bucket and water and I shake it around shake 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 it and then I uh, wring it out and rinse it underneath the faucet so that way it's clean with clean water You wring it out again and you fill up a bucket of water with nothing in it and you put conditioner on the wig and you know you massage that in. I like to leave conditioner in the hair sometimes for like 30 minutes so that's what I did here even though sometimes it's good to just put the conditioner in and wash it right out. But I get it all through the wig and I brush the wig thoroughly until I can't feel any snags and it's like silk and you just brush it all the way until it's like butter and you can run your fingers through it with ease. Make sure you put as much conditioner as you can. Don't be selfish. Don't be stingy. I'm not stingy with my products, as you can tell. Um, California's in a drought, and I need to not use as much water. That's just why I kind of recycled the last bucket of water. But you can see how silky it is and how I'm just running my fingers through it. That's what you're looking for, guys. Make sure from the roots to the ends that it's silky all the way through, and then you just fold it into the cap and let it sit for 30 minutes. And while it's sitting, I'm going to start brushing out my other wig. Now that it's sat for a little while, I rinse it out underneath the faucet. I get out all the sh all the conditioner that I can, and then when it feels like there's no more conditioner in it, and but when you squeeze it out, there's like a little bit of conditioner, that's when I rinse it in the bucket. So that's what I meant by it's a little bit of conditioner still in the bucket of water, but this just makes sure that you take all the conditioner out of it. Now, you brush it. You brush the hair. This is how you keep the curls. So my secret to keeping your curls as fleek as possible as you brush it through once you finish washing and conditioning you brush it through you wring it out and then you brush it through again and then you scrunch it up the shampoo and conditioner that I use is hello hydration by herbal essences here I flip the wig upside down because when you dry your hair upside down it actually gives it volume so I flipped it upside down and then scrunched it and now I'm starting with the longer wig so it's pretty much the same thing. I don't think I should have to um, explain it again, but you pretty much brush it before, detangle it with, in the water, make sure you hold it properly so you don't rip a hole in the lace, shampoo it, rinse it, shampoo it again, and then conditioner it. Conditioner it. <laughs>
with long hair you want to make sure that you get conditioner all the way to the ends to the tips because the ends are what gets dry first so make sure you condition the ends and the closure and you finger comb it and get it as nice and sleek as you possibly can because this is very important to have some bomb freshly washed hair I love using a white girl brush or a wig brush or a demon brush whatever you want to call it to brush my hair while there's conditioner in it if there's shampoo or just water in it it's kind of risque because you could break your hair off like that but with the conditioner in it it's just it just glides through and it feels so good so here I am rinsing it out with regular lukewarm water and I use lukewarm water the whole time and then after I get most of the conditioner out I dip it in a bucket full of water and just water and make sure I get all the conditioner out wring it out and then this hair is wavy so I scrunched this one a little bit after I brushed it out to make sure all the curls fell into place so you pretty much brush it until it's straight and then you wring it out brush it again and then scrunch it and it should dry very pretty here you see me scrunching it after I hung it up to dry and then after this you guys make sure you wash your tub because it's very slippery after you use so much conditioner and anybody can slip and fall so as you can see the curls come out popping and if you guys want to see the review for this hair I actually can run my finger all the way through this hair I'm gonna link the review for this hair and the long hair in the description box so you guys can go check it out um it's just really good it was just, this 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 method is foolproof and you guys should try it out from now on it gets your hair squeaky clean and it keeps the shine and it keeps the curls so yeah girl if you're trying to be popping you better use this bucket routine you better use my bucket routine you guys I haven't seen it anywhere else but yeah this is what I've been doing for years but anyways you guys go out and do great things in the world and remember no drama should come from anybody but me because I am your baby mama go out and do positive things I already said that give me a kiss mm -hmm.